Hello, my name is Meme Pivotal, and I'm here with the second episode of A Guide to Terraformcraft Build 79. In this episode, we'll learn about crops and food. So, to start off with, you're going to need two tools, uh, a hoe and a knife. I've got one here. These are for demonstration purposes only. I didn't really want to use one of the lower tier hoes just because I didn't want to. <laughs> um, actually, an interesting fact about this mod pack is that you have skills. Now, let me change myself to, let's see, that's not the right button. Uh, game mode zero, right. Oh crap, I'm starving. That's fine for now. Okay. So if you go over here to this tab, um, you'll notice that you have a bunch of skills. And one of them is agriculture. You can increase this skill by harvesting plants. You'll find plants all over the place in TFC, most of the time in warmer climates. Uh, not too warm, though. So. If you harvest some of these, you'll end up getting uh, a few seeds. Once you have the seeds, you can go over to any freshwater pond, right-click with your hoe, and plant the seed. Once it's planted, it'll take a fairly long time to grow. Here, let me give you a demonstration. Let me go to game mode one. And even if I repeatedly click day, that's a long time for everything to grow. So now that it's grown, if you let them sit there too long, they'll actually pop into seeds and they'll end up laying on the ground, so you can't just leave the crop there. Uh, what I've done is I, I've planted a bunch of wheat for demonstration purposes. I've actually put some, um, uh, what's it called, fertilizer on it, that way it would grow faster. Um, if you start planting things, it will deplete the soil of one particular vitamin depending on what uh, food you're growing. I believe grain is like B or C or something. So what you're going to do is you're going to plant uh, one row of grain, one row of fruit, and the other vegetables. Once you do that, you just switch them periodically. Uh, the next season, if you grew wheat here, you would grow wheat here. And after that, you would grow wheat the next plot. That way, all the nutrients can uh, recuperate uh, and get there again. Or you could just use fertilizer and repeatedly plant the same thing over and over. Uh, you get uh, fertilizer by putting sylvite in a corn with a handstone and right clicking on this little wooden thing. I find it very difficult to click on it. And it will create some fertilizer. I've actually got quite a bit of fertilizer right here. Now, here's what the knife is for you right click on any surface, uh, any clean surface or hard surface like um, stone or man-made surfaces like wood or something and you'll get this screen um, you'll actually see a little highlight box uh, on whatever block you've clicked on so you can create two types of food in TFC or at least two types of meals there's the sandwich and there's the salad the salad is usually only fruits and the sandwich is usually a combination of everything uh, you can also cook things uh, to make them either what was it uh, rare, medium rare, and uh, done and well done. Uh, that's meat, and then there's from light to dark with uh, most other foods. Except for grains, you have to turn those into breads before you can actually do anything. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create bread from wheat. So I'm going to go ahead and go into game mode zero. Oh, actually I'm probably going to die immediately, but that's alright. Uh, yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying so fast. Alright, let's just harvest it really quick. If we harvest it, you can actually go ahead and look at your agriculture scale and it is leveling up. That's really cool. Um, when you die, you do get some debuff, debuffs, which sucks, so I'm just going to stand here for a few seconds. Oh, I didn't die! Huh, that's interesting. Okay, so I've got a bunch of grain here. I can actually throw that in the crafting table and make it a little bit more. So I'm going to do that again. There we go. Now I have a lot of grain. Get your knife and put it in the crafting area, and you will get some grain. Once you have the grain, go ahead and go to your corn and throw the wheat grain in there. And I believe this is how you do it. And it will create wheat flour. Once you have the wheat flour, you can grab some fresh water. Here it is. Uh, I need to spawn myself in a bucket. Um, yeah, bucket. And grab some fresh water. Hopefully this is fresh water. Yep. Go into your crafting table and throw it in there, and you'll get wheat dough. If you have the wheat dough, which you most likely would after this, go ahead and grab some sticks. Um, that's not the right button. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, sticks. This one. And 
some logs. That's not how you do logs anymore. Let's just grab some hickory. Sorry, this is a bit rushed. I've got stuff to do and things to see. Uh, grab a fire starter. This is all basic stuff. It's really easy. Throw it on the ground. That's not the right button. There we go. All right. Now with the new fire mechanic, you have to hold. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Throw the logs in there. That's easy enough. And throw the wheat dough right here. Now you'll see there's a bar on top. You can also see that there's a uh, warm modifier or a warmness modifier. Uh, that will tell you how crispy, how how dark it is, and you know generally what it's going to be like. So you just gotta wait. As you can see, there's a bar for it to cook. Um, when it gets to the bread stage, you can actually um, your pr your player has a taste profile, and depending on what it is, and it really changes from server to server, you'll get um, different tastes that you that your player likes. So here you can see that it's a quick cooked white bread light and as it stays in the fire pit it'll go from light to uh, medium and then to dark so I'm gonna keep it at medium just because I don't know if my player likes it or not and I'm gonna throw it in the sandwich slot right here and I'm actually gonna spawn myself in some uh, I don't know, beef yeah beef will do and as you can see that it also does the same thing with beef, except without um, doing the dark thing. It does medium, medium rare. I'm just going to leave that in there for a second. I'm also going to spawn myself in some cheese. I'll teach you guys how to make cheese eventually. Um, some lettuce. Mm, that's not how you spell lettuce. Is it? Isn't that how you spell lettuce? Or is it not? It's called cabbage, right? Cabbage. There my cabbage and I don't know tomato no I already have a vegetable um a plum this is gonna be a weird sandwich okay I'm gonna go ahead and throw this stuff in here as well and put that right there and this right here now all we're missing is protein oh that's really dark okay medium well okay let's throw that up there so right here we can create a sandwich but I'm not going to right now because I need to explain what all of the food groups are. There is grain, there is dairy, there is fruit, there is vegetable, and there is protein. As you can see in this tab, all of mine are quite low. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sandwich. And once I have the sandwich, I can go ahead and eat the sandwich. Once I've eaten the sandwich, I'm gonna go back to my whatchamacallit right here. And as you can see, I'm not sure if it has, but they've gone up very, very, very slightly. And that's because I've eaten something with all of the food groups in it. And I'm going to go ahead and create myself two more sandwiches. Alright, here we go. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and throw myself in some water. Hopefully I'll drink it. I'm not sure if this is how it works anymore. Right, you have to right-click to drink now. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Alright, come on, hurry up. Ugh, oh, it's taking forever. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, it's gone up a little bit. Uh, they decay and go up at different rates, so you're going to have to experiment a little bit with it. I also didn't explain something. If you hold control on this, you can see the flavors it has and what each thing has brought to it. Now, I'm not sure if my character liked it or not, uh, but, you know, it works. It's a sandwich. I'll eat it. Alright, so that's pretty much it on uh, food taste profiles and how you cook things, how you make things. And all that stuff. But uh, in the next episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to pickle things and how to um, brine things. I know you guys already know how to brine things because in that last episode we did, uh, we talked about how to smoke things and make them last a little bit longer. Well, it turns out there's another process called pickling, which makes them last indefinitely, which is incredibly efficient if you want to work with, you know, food storing and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the next episode. Leave a like if you liked the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.